So let's say you want to add in your own pattern into our software. How can you go about doing that? And do you need to know any code? How do you get this done pretty easily? And can you scan for that pattern later on using the mark analyzer? They're all great questions. We're going to show you how to do this and how easily it can be done right after this. Now, custom patterns are added without needing to know any code. Uh, you just need to know how to plug in the numbers. So that's what we're going to go through today. Uh, you have an XABCD properties box and inside here you enter in all your patterns and they can be customized so that each one is unique uh, to your own needs. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just gonna put that out of the way for a sec. You can see here that these ratios are going to be used as part of a drawing tool. Okay, so you can draw them out manually once the ratios are put in. Um, you can also have this done by an indicator. Um, so it will automatically find your custom patterns. And that includes um, going back into maybe the last 5,000 bars and showing you all those examples of when your custom pattern was identified using the software. So there's a lot that can be done and it's pretty flexible. What you need to be able to do is know how to put these numbers in that you have in with our software. So there are a few different ways um, that you can probably interpret uh, the XABCD points and what an XAB min or an XB max might mean. Uh, basically, to keep this simple, is your XB min and XB max is going to be the ratio that goes from your X point all the way to your B point. So if you're drawing X to A and then down to B, your X, B, min, or your B point is gonna be the minimum amount as well as the maximum amount. So once it goes beyond what that minimum or maximum is, it's gonna to go to no pattern and show you a dull gray. When there is a pattern with valid ratios, you'll see the pattern's name and it will show you it in a vibrant color. These colors can be customized, okay? So the first way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna assume that um, you already know what your ratios are. If you're adding your own custom pattern, that's probably a, a good idea. Uh, we have a minimum here of a 0.382 to a 0.899. So what that means is I can essentially bring this all the way down. You can see this number here is a 0.781. You can bring this all the way down to an 889. Once I go past that, it's not going to be valid anymore. Okay, just like if I go all the way up, my minimum is going to be a uh, a 3 2 is what I have here. So my minimum is going to be a 3 2. So this says 0 0.55. This would be valid. Um, but there's obviously other ratios that are stopping it from being valid. So as my B point goes up, these ratios are changing, making the pattern invalid. But yeah, the minimum would be a 3 8 2. So um, that would keep that B point valid between, let's just say, roughly. If we want to draw this in visually all the way to an 89, so almost the bottom, right? And a little bit higher. Right now we're at a 0 0.49. So that's saying anything where your B point is in this area, it's going to be uh, a valid pattern for your custom pattern. Okay, so the rest of them is gonna be pretty similar. Uh, if we look at the A and the C minimum, this is the lowest amount being a 382 going to a maximum of a 0 0.999 this is just what i put in as a custom pattern so a 0 0.999 would be almost basically a double top you can see a 0 0.94 so it's still valid if i go past that it's going to be invalid okay so i can go up almost basically to a double top i go past it it's not valid and i can kind of come down all the way to a 0 0.382 and now it's invalid because we went past that. So valid, invalid. So that C point basically is going to be valid as long as we're between that 382 and almost a perfect double top. Okay, so you can see how this is kind of working between um, the B point and the C point. 
Now the next one is going to be our B to D ratio. So again, you're looking at the B point to the D point. There's this number here right now, it says two. Okay, so this says that it's gonna be valid between a 1.1 and a 3.618. So as long as that doesn't exceed a 3.618, then this is going to be valid. You can see we're at 2.9, 3, 3.1, 3.4, 3.5. Oh, there, we're past our 3.618. We're at a 3.637, right? So essentially our D point is going to be valid as long as we go from just above our current point here all the way up to a 1.1, which is 1.1, 100 percent is gonna be the B point. And then uh, 1.1 is going to be just beyond that, right? So our D point would be valid as long as we're within these ratios. Now, obviously, it's not going to be valid here because we have one more that we have to define, which is our X to D min and max. So this is this last column here, X to D. So going X to D it has to be at least a 1.1. This is a 0 0.3 uh, or 0 0.883, right? So that's not a 1.1. So 1.1 would be right, it's gonna be valid soon. There we go, right? So now our custom pattern's valid because what we also need to do is take into to consideration this area right in here for this ratio, right? So whatever we have between our uh, X and our D has to be, that ratio has to be between uh, a 1.1 and, uh, let's see here. So a 1.1 and a 3.618. So a 3.618 and a 1.1 means our X to D has to line up. A 1.1 is gonna be here and an X to D of a 3.618. Let me just drag this down. And we'll see 3.618 is going to be way down here. So basically it can go down as far as it wants um, because then by the time we hit our maximum B to D ratio, our X to D would be invalid at that point too. So that's saying that as long as we fall in between these points, our C point falls within this area and our D point falls within this area. Now you can make this a lot more um, strict if you wanted to, right? Let's just say you had a B point where it had to be a 618, and that's the only thing you're gonna accept. Well, then you might wanna, you might wanna give a little bit of wiggle room, but you might do something like a 0 0.61 to a maximum of a 0 0.62. I mean, if you really wanna be specific and say it has to be a 618 then change this to a 618 and change the minimum to a 618 so it has to be a 0 0.618 but then if you're not exactly on that 618 it's not going to be valid and that's going to be pretty rare to get every single point to be a specific number so uh, you'll want to take that into consideration and then of course if you wanted to uh, name your pattern uh, whatever you want to call it one two three four five and just save it and you'll see that the pattern name will automatically switch so absolutely no coding is needed um, and then once you have that pattern and those ratios locked in you can use every one of our tools with it so our, our drawing tools our scanner um, our indicators they'll all use those same ratios and you're only putting it into one spot and once you have that done, you have your custom patterns inserted into our software. Now, don't forget, we do come out with videos often, so feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you like this sort of technology, uh, slap that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video.